contrary to what Twitter, what everyone else is saying, there were legitimate minds of basketball that actually called the shots that thought that's not the case. So yeah, partially correct that he got to the Lakers because of LeBron, LeBron James, because LeBron wanted to play with the Sun. But to say that he wouldn't have been able to get to the league, I think that's a stretch because there were clear interests for Bronny James and with good reason. Look, I think Bronny James has a lot of upsides too, just like Dalton Connect. I think there's a lot of um, potential with Bronny James. And going back and watching his uh, highlights, what are Bronny James' uh, strengths? I think Bronny James' strength is that um, he's, like his dad, he's athletic. He can jump really high. He had, I think, the second highest vertical at the combines. But then his second strength is he's really good on defense. And I think the, the athleticism, those twitchy muscles, allows for him to be a really good perimeter defender. And that's what I re that really jumped out to me, watching his highlights and going back and seeing what he's good at. He's a really good perimeter defender, and I think that could be his bread and butter. If anything, if anything, and if he's gonna stay in this league, I think that could really be his bread and butter, the ability to defend on a perimeter really well. He's got active hands, he can get turnovers in that turn into quick transition plays. And so I think that's his um, his upside. But then also, I don't think that the numbers, the stats that he put up at uh, USC is reflective of his ability to be valuable on offense. Because what you have to remember is prior to Bronny playing for USC, he had a heart condition in which he almost died, right? And um, because of that, he was put on minutes restriction. But then there was also people that pointed out that the, the USC wasn't using Bronny James in a right way and that he probably could have gotten more developed or could have gotten better some, playing somewhere else. And I think going forward, if he had the right developer, I think you can see Bronny turn it into like a 17 points per game type of player with like maybe eight assists. So I think that's Bronny, that's the potential Bronny has. A guy like that can put up numbers like that and play perimeter defense really well, that's a good pick for 55 overall pick. And I think the person that's best suited to develop him into this player, this potential player, is of course his dad, who he's going to be playing with. That's the best person to learn basketball from, to be developed from. I think JJ Reddick's going to be lenient enough to let LeBron, you know, coach Bronny James or teach Bronny James how he wants to. So I think I see a lot of potential, a lot of upside with Bronny James. His downsides are he's obviously not as big as we would like him to be, but I think he makes up for it with the work ethic, athleticism and uh, the development and the knowledge that he's gonna be able to get from his, with playing with his dad. So I really think these two picks were perfect for the Lakers. These two picks were great for the Lakers. For post LeBron, post AD, when those two guys are gone. These guys are gonna be the future of the Lakers. The Bronny pick works in the short term and the long term. In the short term, in the short term, LeBron James finally gets to realize his dream of playing with his son, right? Um, I think that's what LeBron wanted the most and he actually gets to legitimately compete for a title with his son. Don't be surprised if next June, LeBron James is hoisting up the NBA championship and his son's right next to him. That would be a first for the NBA. And in the long term, when LeBron is gone, if he does a good enough job with Bronny James and Dalton Connect de develops into a really good player, these two players could be real assets for the Lakers in the long run. So the Lakers get what they want, LeBron gets what he wants, Bronny gets to play with in the NBA. I think it worked out perfectly for everyone, all the parties involved in here. And then, so I wanna go back to the nepotism allegations and thing. Yes, Bronny James, the fact that his dad is LeBron James did help him get into the league. But I think what's going to help him stay in the league is his talent. But just because he's a nepotism baby doesn't mean it's a bad thing. There's nepotism all over in every industry. You can hear people on like Wall Street, oh, I'm gonna work at the hedge fund with my dad, or um, I work at my dad's company, or the mom pa shop like down the street. They have kids, their own kids working there and they pass on the business to them. And so nepotism exists all over the place, right? A lot of times, a lot of people are successful, not because of how good they are or what they do, but it's because of who they know, right? And so that's just part of the world. People have to get over it. That's just the way it is. And I think this is great for LeBron James, um, helping your son get into the league and then keeping the money in the family. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on the draft from last night. If you like this kind of content, again, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Aside from that, thanks for watching.